David Guetta at Isle of Wight Radio and without you, hello, good morning, welcome along to uh, Tuesday morning at Isle of Wight Radio and your chance to play headline or hearsay, you can play along at home. It's easy. We're live on Facebook right now. Uh, this is the way it works. Uh, Jamie will have stories for us. Some will be true. Some may be false. They may all be true. They may all be false. Who knows? It's the excitement of the game. He's just not very good at it, though, is he? Because oh. we always win. Oh. <laughs> because of Facebook. Oh. That's, that's the only reason we you go. win, Get now. the excuse book out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so are we ready for today's headline or hearsay? Ready. Uh, if you want to watch, facebook.com forward slash Isle of Wight Radio, you can uh, play along there. Let's do it then. Story number one. An Australian man might have created the ultimate fast food. The hot dog and the hamburger have finally come together under one bap in a clever creation by culinary visionary Mark Murray. It's rather appropriately called the ham dog. The design has been patented and is now officially on sale on the other side of the world at least. Headline or hearsay? I don't know. The it ham sounds dog. The ham dog. Sounds like sounds like a good idea to me. It does sound like a good But what what is in the ham dog? Do you ever get the point where what you is it, what is it the ham dog? You say, is it a combination of beef burger and Hot dog. Hot dog combined in the Do you ever go you know, like if you're for example, Spooks and Sparks, mm -hmm. do you ever think oh, I don't know which one to go for. Oh, hamburger or hot dog? Don't get food envy. It's the worst type <laughs> of envy. Oh, and then, then you get the burger and it doesn't look that great. And, you wish and you someone could. else has got the hot dog and it's like, you know... Onions and ketchup, the whole lot. It's like the size of an inflatable that should go in a pool. <laughs> yes. Or yeah. the other way around. Yeah. It's... Hayley Newby thinks it's headline. Julie Hollister thinks it's headline. Keith uh, Oxlade thinks it's headline. What do you think, though? Mm. Headline or hearsay? Which one are we dog. going with? The ham dog. I there like ain't nothing it. but a ham, ham dog. dog. That's what yeah, I was I thinking like of. That. That's what you were thinking of. Everyone's saying headline. Oh, okay. Headline. Susan Fielder thinks it's headline. I think it's a headline. We're going headline, Jamie. It is a headline. Yes. Well done, Facebook. Yes. What do you mean, well done, yeah, Facebook? Well done, Facebook. Excuse mm -hmm. me, we've got to our own conclusion. <laughs> yeah. We've got minds of our own. <laughs> Admittedly, we don't often use them. <laughs> Rotherham has been voted as one of the most unhappiest cities in the UK. A survey of almost 5,000 Brits to find out how welcoming, friendly, polite, safe and happy residents in each city are feel their community is at present compared to that of 6, 12 and 18 months ago. The biggest change is Portsmouth, which was deemed as six most welcoming but six months ago, but has now fallen 11%. It's a blow to the town of Rotherham in particular, whose most famous sons are the Chuckle Brothers. To me, to you. Headline to or hearsay. Yeah, we discussed this on the show, didn't we? Was it Friday? With Lauren. It was, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, but I can't for the life of me <laughs> think what the answer was. I know. I can't remember whether it was one of the nicest places or one of the most unhappy places. Rotherham. Yeah, I'm desperately looking across to Facebook <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, this is one we need a bit a of help. A little bit of a steer on here. Julie thinks it's headline this morning. Keith says it's headline. Uh, Corin says headline. Emma Elliott says headline. Uh, David Harry says hearsay. Luke uh, says headline. Hayley Newby says headline this morning. Are we going headline or are we going hearsay? Um, famous Brothers are the Chuckle Brothers from Rotherham. Yes. But it's the rest of it that goes with it, but Portsmouth. The, but the Chuckle, you never see the Chuckle Brothers look sad, do you? No, true. <laughs> they always like, to me, to you, they never, to me. Yeah. Oh, go on the pass it here if you pass want. <laughs> I think headline. Okay, well, we'll go with you. And Facebook. Not just We're going headline. It's hearsay. Oh, oh, gave that one to you, Jamie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie gets a point. <laughs> 
British workers spend more than 100 hours per year making tea and other drinks, according to new research. A survey revealed British workers spend on average more than 109 hours taking breaks in the kitchen to make a drink to have a break from their desk or workstation. The research also found that almost 90% of workers think regular tea breaks help them work better. Headline or hearsay? Again, we discussed this with Lauren, didn't we? But again, I have no idea. Hmm. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think any task at work other than sitting at your desk is great. Going to the photocopier, <laughs> going to the post room, going to the kitchen. We've definitely got a couple of people in our office who enjoy a tea break. Jamie? <laughs> I don't drink tea, actually. <laughs> you make it for everybody else. <laughs> yeah. I make Jamie a water in the morning. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, James uh, says, morning. <laughs> uh, David, that's not particularly helpful, James, but thank you. Morning. Uh, Emma says, headline. Uh, David Harry says, headline. Uh, who else we got? Emma says, headline this morning. James says, hearsay. Are we going headline or hearsay? Headline. Susan says, headline. I'm going to say headline. Are we going headline? If it's a hearsay, we've, you know, we've got given it to Jamie. He can win today. Don't say headline then. He can win. Shall we say hearsay then? Let's go hearsay. Let's go. Let's go hearsay, because otherwise he gets so uppity. I know. I think it's headline, but we're going to go hearsay. Yeah. Just purely to put a smile on Jamie's face. Yeah. Hearsay. It's a headline. Oh, oh. Well yes. done, oh, Jamie. Thanks very much. Oh, in my excitement, I've pressed lots of buttons. <laughs> and it's, it's all gone a bit strange on Facebook, so apologies for that. It was all a bit too exciting. Bit too exciting. Wow, so, Jamie, you've won. I've won one. Wow. Yes. wow. That's the first time wow. in about six weeks. <laughs> That's br- <laughs> six well, months. Well, do- well done. Well done, Jamie. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free on Facebook to congratulate Jamie to put a little smile on those yeah. white, pearly, white teeth yeah. of his. Have you had them done again? I've never Just had them big, done. Just give a big smile to the camera. Look at them. Ding. Look at them. My goodness. Almost have to put a filter in front of the lens. <laughs> it's I Love White Radio. Thank you to everyone who's played along. <laughs> Elizabeth says, wow, Jamie, you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, uh, <laughs> same time, same place tomorrow, headline or hearsay. Are you here tomorrow? I'm not here tomorrow. Oh, oh, there we go. So, thanks for that. Quarter to eight, Isle of Wight Radio. This is Nelly Furtado.